Hello, my name is Crystal and I'm a member of the Miami Children's Museum's Theater Group. Today we are going to be listening to some poetry by my friend, published poet and artistic director of Art Prevails Project, Darius Daughtry. And this is all part of our month-long programming for Black History Month. We are doing the programming all month long, sponsored by PNC Bank. I hope that you enjoy and get to know my friend. Hey, what's happening? My name is Darius Daughtry. I am a poet, a playwright, director, educator, and the founder and artistic director of an organization called Art Prevails Project. And Art Prevails Project is uh, a company, we're about the idea that everyone needs to have art in their lives, whether that is visual art or drama or dance or poetry, that everyone needs to have it in their lives. And so some people don't have the opportunity to have it. So that's where we come in. Uh, because it's, it's important, the better, you know, your life is going to be is kind of tied into if you have access to certain things and, and art is one of those things that, you know, we all need to have access to, to be better. So that's what we do. Myself, I do a lot as well. Like I said, I'm a poet. I have a book, it's called And the Walls Came Tumbling. Uh, but this poem I'm gonna do for you right now is not in that book. Uh, it's a great book, you should get it. But this poem is not in that book. This poem is a poem I like to share, you know, because it has a feeling of inspiration in it. So hopefully you, you feel it and it's uh, inspiring. And there's a part of it when I'm going to ask you to put your hand over your heart and wherever you watch this, hopefully put your hand over your heart. All right. Life will never be a crystal stair. More like a battlefield filled with landmines and snares. You can either navigate the field or sit sideline scared. Screaming at the rest of the world that life just ain't fair. And you're right. Ain't nothing fair about this thing called life. Some are fork fed or fortune while others futilely fight for an inch, a pinch, a sliver, a slice, a dash of daybreak in the darkness of night. But what should your game plan be? Will you sit on the sideline resigned to defeat, lamenting over the, all the odds you feel you can't beat? Put your hand over your heart. And if you still feel the beat, then you are blessed. So tell stress to take several seats. Step on your haters necks, lace up the boots on your feet, and then stride into your year, your month, your week, your days, your hours, your seconds, your moment, every part of your life as if you own it. If you have a set of goals, then you better get on it because in this fight called life, we're our fiercest opponent. And we pack jabs of indecision and uppercuts of self-doubt. If you don't defend yourself from yourself, you might knock yourself out. But you just can't play defense, constant retreat. You have to go on the attack. Float like a butterfly sweet, and then swing for the fences and reach for the stars. Lunge toward Mercury, grab a hold of Mars, take a ride on a comet, but there are no handlebars and no training wheels. So of course you'll fall off and get bloodied, muddied, sullied, and scarred. But you must pick yourself up and brush yourself off because how you deal with those falls defines who you are, and you are amazing. No crystal stair needed. Seated in your soul is a celestial symphony, which means you're right where you're meant to be. You just gotta open up your eyes and see it. Tune your ears to your own imperfect pitch. Ride your system's glitch. Scratch your own, it's like a DJ, like a DJ, like a DJ. When you live life this way, it's like, we play soul music and mix it with hip hop and salsa and compa and classical. It becomes a magical mashup for you to groove with. Now who's this? Staring back at you every single morning in the mirror. I say it is none other than a reflection of a god or goddess. So look right back at them every single day and make them a promise that you will always and forever live life amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Darius and Art Prevails Project. That was fantastic. And I hope you got a great start to your day. I'm so motivated. I can't wait to take the day on. So make sure to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.